is the man of this government who handles all the crises. I don't know how he stays calm. Pranam Mukherjee, thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Thank you. Sir, first question, I think uh, it's been a tough, challenging year. You must, you've had many of those in your past. What has been the most challenging for you? The, the price rise uh, in Parliament, the women's reservation bill, or that cut motion? What, what has uh, been the toughest part for you this year? You know, uh, to run a coalition government, and when you do not have a simple majority, on the floor of the house, you have to face series of problems, including all three what you have mentioned. But so far the women reservations bill is concerned. In Dutch Sabha it was passed by the uh, required majority. In Lok Sabha, number is not the issue, but the strong views of some of the uh, supporters of the government are to be taken into account before arriving at a uh, final decision. That's why I made a commitment on the floor of the House before bringing this legislation to the Lok Sabha. I shall have wider consultations with all the parties who are involved. In respect of the cut motions, cut motion as such is the usual uh, parliamentary practice and nothing to be worried over it, but when it was uh, pointed out that some of the supporting parties of the government may support cut motion. Of course, none of them formally said that they are going to support or withdraw the uh, support from the government. None of them technically uh, even thought of withdrawing the support by writing a letter to the president to that effect. But nonetheless, some cut motions were moved and in the normal course, we could dispose them off, and the cut motions were not put to vote. Therefore, uh, I would not say that these are the most difficult uh, things, or these are the very uh, fundamental challenges, but these type of challenges one is to face in a coalition government from time to time. Uh, Mr. Mukherjee, it's interesting that when asked your biggest challenge, you did not talk about anything that falls within the domain of the finance ministry, not even inflation or food prices, but managing the coalition. Has it been difficult uh, to be in a minority in the Rajya Sabha, uh, to have to handle troublesome allies often like Lalu Prasad Yadav, Mulayam Singh Yadav, and a, a very angry Mamta Banerjee within the cabinet, a stubborn DMK also within the cabinet. Has that been the toughest part of your own job? because we know that you're the government's uh, big crisis manager and chief troubleshooter. I do not know whether I'm troubleshooter or the crisis manager, but the fact of the matter is as leader of the house, uh, floor management is my responsibility. And also sometimes when the major issues come, I give my views in the cabinet. But the questions which you are talking of that Yes, uh, as finance minister, I had to face the problem of um, price rise. I am also to ensure that we can come back to the path of uh, fiscal consolidation by reducing the deficit. And at the same time, I can maintain the higher growth trajectory so that ultimately we reach the higher growth path and at the same time maintain the fiscal deficit at a a manageable level. These yeah. are the serious challenges. Right. So two issues. Oh. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. The two issues which everybody wants to know: Are prices going to come down? Number one, and number two, are you a happy man now that you've got sixty thousand crores from the three G auction? You only budgeted about thirty. So, could you give us your your views on both these? Uh, of course, getting extra money on the 3G auction will provide a little uh, more elbow room and fiscal space for me to manage the uh, financial matters. And in respect of the uh, prices, uh, I am quite sure that the steps which we have taken and also the uh, full impact of the Roby harvesting and if monsoon behaves as predicted, 
the prices will come down. Tubar.com.